I'm not allowed to say what I'm about to say. And that is that I find halal slaughter absolutely disgusting. I find it completely and utterly repugnant and abhorrent. And I don't actually think there's a word in the English language strong enough to convey how I feel about halal and how offended I am by its existence in the country that I love. Now, I'm saying this because a 16-year-old girl wrote in her GCSE exam that she finds halal absolutely disgusting and she was disqualified. Presumably, it's a post-exam disqualification. Now, that decision was overturned, but if you think that that makes it okay, then you have a problem. It isn't the fact that the decision was overturned that's relevant. It's the fact that the decision was made in the first place and on the grounds the decision was made. Let me uh, point you to a Daily Mail article on this, which I will link to below. It opens with, a GCSE pupil was disqualified after examiners mistook her vegetarian views on, uh, on halal meat for Islamophobia. They mistook her vegetarian views for Islamophobia. I'm sorry, who makes that decision? Who decides what's Islamophobia and what's vegetarian views? My opposition to halal comes from opposition to animal cruelty. Uh, uh, who's, who's the judge on this? Who is judge and jury on this? Who makes this decision? I want to know who decides whether it's Islamophobia or not. That's question one. Question two is why she was deemed to have, and I quote, made obscene racial comments. What's it got to do with racial... What's it, what has any of this got to do with race? Nothing at all. That's what. Here's what's happening here. And if you can't see it, once again, you have a problem. What's happening is we have a country terrified of offending Islam. Country terrified of offending the imams. So that it tiptoes around, it jumps around in fright, jumping on, on any little example of what might be Islamophobic. And let's crush it instantly, even if it means disqualifying a girl from her exams. This is the fear. This is the, sort of, it's, it's almost become part of our, our wider culture. It has become part of our wider culture. This fear of being Islamophobic, it has caused untold misery in this country. And it's now encroaching upon our free speech to the extent that we can't even express opposition to unstunned animal slaughter. Do you really not see see what's happening here? Do you really not see what this country is becoming? This is what we mean by Islamization. This is what we mean by subjugation to the will of Islam. It's injected a fear into us, a fear of upsetting Islam. That is the direction this country is going at a rapid, rapid rate. It has to stop. We have got to be allowed to express opposition to this. And by the way, I don't oppose halal because it's Islamic. I oppose Islam because of halal. Halal and all the other cruelties that Islam has enshrined in its scripture. I will say so, no matter how much the establishment and its stooges tighten the screws, we must continue to say that halal is abhorrent and cruel and absolutely disgusting. If we don't, we may as well just get on our knees now. I refuse to. If you refuse to, join for Britain and let's show them. Show them that there are millions of us who refuse to accept the barbarism of halal and who refuse, who refuse to sit and wait while this country we love becomes an Islamic state. Join us now. Fight back.